What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, it's well known that most players in Fortnite struggle to reach even Division 6 or 7 in Fortnite. Even some top 1% of players struggle to reach champs. But what if I told you that there was a player who in under one month managed to reach 100,000 arena points? Yeah, you just heard me. <laughs> I said 100,000, man. This is just absolutely crazy. But it has actually been done like by an insanely underrated pro known as Mars OW. In this video, we're going to be going over exactly who Mars is and how we managed to make this insane milestone happen in under a single month. You got to stay tuned and you have to watch the entire thing. And before we start, guys, all right, make sure to check out ProGuys.com as well for some of the highest quality content to help you guys improve at Fortnite, along with 24-7 on-demand coaching from pro players and our new VOD review system designed to save you time and help you improve insanely fast. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, yo, let's get into this thing. Bunch of crunch on me where you at here we go it's time to sit back relax and grab some of my favorite candy what is that y'all it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going Mars OW is a pro player known among the competitive community as Young Calc's worst enemy, and uh, honestly, as a bit of a clown by some. But despite that, Mars has been one of the best players dating all the way back to the World Cup, where he missed qualifying for the New York Finals by only two points. But despite this devastating loss, Mars came back and he saw a consistent improvement all the way up until now. Despite being clowned by a lot of the competitive community for being a cash cup warrior, Mars has made many, many thousands off of solo tournaments in the past few months, so he's the one laughing now. This season, Mars set out on a goal to grind out as much arena as possible to improve at solos, which has always been his strong suit. This goal is an interesting one as pros tend to play mostly pro scrims and creative with other pros. Despite this, Mars has improved like never before this season, and the bombshell finally dropped when he got the first place in the DreamHack Grand Finals on September 18th of 2020, scoring him a nice $10,000 and putting him above some household names like Booga, Bizzle, Bucky, Unknown, and so many others. And this was no little cash cup either, right? Like this was one of the biggest tournaments of the entire season. So needless to say, Mars has proven himself and pretty much solidified a legacy in the Fortnite competitive scene. All right, guys, so let's discuss the question on everybody's mind, which is how did Mars actually reach 100,000 arena points? Okay, well to start off, Mars plays a mix of both solos and trios, so we're going to be going over both of those in this video, starting off with solos. Alright guys, so in solos, Mars has a uniquely passive playstyle for a player of his caliber. Now he's definitely not straight up camping, alright, but in the average solo game, Mars is sort of just hanging out and just trying to get placement points for the most part. While Mars doesn't play a lot of solos on his stream, we can infer from his stats and the gameplay that he does have set up that he plays a ton of solos in his spare time and typically just lets the game roll, playing mostly passive unless he gets pushed or has a major advantage in his fight and then he tries to pop off and gets points in the end game. So for a player who's grinding solo arena for probably the majority of his day, every day, like straight up W King the entire time would be totally exhausting. So it's completely understandable why he do this. Speaking of solos, like if you feel like your solo game is lacking, make sure that you head on over to ProGuys.com where we have top tier coaches who can help you out. And our brand new VOD review system where a pro player will review your gameplay to save you time guys and give you guys the most relevant and helpful advice to improve, check it out. All right, so the big thing to note here is that Mars isn't completely just hiding by any means in solos, okay? Like, he's not playing aggressive, so to speak, but he definitely isn't afraid to fight. Too many players decide to play passive, but then get super scared whenever they just like have to fight or play out the end game. And that's where Mars is actually really good in the sense that nothing like that scares him. He's just simply playing the most efficient way he can for points. Overall, when it comes to solos, being scared is one of the most dangerous things that you can do to yourself. Like no matter how you decide to play, just avoid being scared and you should be good. In general, you know, when we're talking about Mars in particular, he prefers to take the route of playing more for in-game than fighting. But he does tend to mix it up when he feels like doing something else, and that helps keep the game fresh.
Now, another massive part of Mars' arena domination is trios. You know, apart from grinding the you know what out of solos, all right, Mars doesn't just put off trios at all. Like, in fact, Mars has almost twice as many trio arena wins this season than he does in solos. So, Mars' playstyle in trios is somewhat similar to his solo playstyle. Most of the time, Mars grinds trios, like, with the other high level players like Diggy, Gull, and Nexi B2W. When it comes to his general playstyle in trios, it really doesn't differ a ton from his solo playstyle. He'll land at Craggy Cliffs, sort of like a low key spot where they might find one or two teams and aren't afraid to fight those guys, right? Since he's almost always playing with other pros or players who are really good, there's really no reason to be afraid of anything really, right? Once his early game is passed, Mars and his teammates typically just rotate around trying to find players. They don't go super like psycho W key mode like a lot of players do, but they generally just aren't scared to fight at all. They'll usually just drive around and chill, and if they run into players, they'll fight. Otherwise, they'll just be chilling and just play it out. You know, so with this strategy, there's not necessarily W King or camping. They're pretty much just, they're just playing like most of us would, right? But the reason Trio Arena works so well for Mars is because he plays with other players who are really good. So even the highest arena lobbies are just super easy for them. Occasionally, you know, they'll chill out and just camp for endgame if the team is just feeling tired or just doesn't want to push. But generally, they'll play a normal play style and really just let the game play out. Out. And since the whole team is so darn good, yes, I said the word darn is actually one of my favorite words, they're going to end up ahead on almost all their game. So one big thing Mars is really, really good at is staying extremely calm in game. Like having a strong mentality, guys. I say this all the time on my motivation show every Friday, 12 o'clock. PST, check me out on ProGuys.com, of course. So, you know, mentality is one of the biggest weaknesses for a lot of us, but yo, Mars, he pretty much got it down. The reason Mars has such a strong mentality, guys, and manages to continue grinding without getting super angry or tilted is definitely because he just simply plays so much and he just has gained so much experience where getting angry doesn't help him at all. And each loss doesn't impact him simply due to the fact that it's happened so many times due to the insane amount that he generally plays. Okay, so if you're struggling to stay calm, in game all right and maybe you don't have eight hours a day to grind on arena here are a few quick tips for you guys all right i got you i'm here all right so the first thing you got to do is keep a towel or rag near you in case your palms get sweaty or you're just starting to feel nervous it really does help with sweat and it is a, definitely a really good distraction all right the next thing consider your losses as an opportunity to improve remember guys you're not losing you're learning losing doesn't have to be a bad thing guys like try viewing your losses as opportunities to improve instead of like what they are on the surface all right, the next thing, take frequent breaks when you play. Gotta do this, man. Even the biggest grinders like Mars takes breaks. Trust me when I say this, guys. Like, 20 minutes off isn't gonna ruin you as a player. In fact, the benefits of feeling refreshed and getting back into the action will probably outweigh whatever you might lose in that 20 minutes. Guys, the next thing, listen to music or, man, watch some YouTube. Man, hey, check out me on Pro Guys, right? Like, come on. Obviously, this isn't like the best thing to do in tournaments or scrims. I get it. But if you're just hanging out, you know, hanging around and you're just playing arena to grind points, something like YouTube or some music can really help, you know, just calm your nerves and keep the positive vibes going. You get me? Especially if you're going on a long session. Overall, man, your mentality is absolutely critical, guys, especially if you have a specific goal like reaching champs, starting to place in tournaments or even possibly being the next player to hit. 100,000 points. Who knows? Like, keep these tips in mind when it comes to your mentality, and you're going to see a lot of progress, I promise you. All right, guys, so with that said, that's going to be it for today's video, but let's quickly do a recap on what we discussed about my boy, Mars. Here we go. In solos, Mars generally plays for endgame, but he isn't afraid to fight at all if a situation arises. Obviously, W King for eight hours a day isn't really the best strategy, so we can't blame him for playing it pretty chill, right? One of the most critical aspects of solo play is avoiding getting scared, and Mars displays this extremely well in his gameplay as well. Confidence is key, guys, and you need to go into every engagement confident that you're going to win. So in trios, Mars typically plays with other semi-pro, you know, the pro players, and really just plays a typical play style. Since he and his teammates are so darn good at the game yep i just said the word darn again they can play however they like they'll usually play semi you know passive and just try to get the win but you'll occasionally see them just playing for kills or just rotating into players to try and get into fights but ultimately this honestly just depends on how they feel so one massive aspect of everybody's gameplay is mentality avoiding nervousness in game along with keeping a clear head
bed for long and intense sessions is so difficult, so we went over how Mars pretty much unintentionally trained himself to be calm and positive, along with some methods that you can use, even if you don't have as much time to play as he does, right? All right, guys, once again, it's your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. That's gonna be it for today's video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. Mars is definitely one of the most talented and underrated players in the Fortnite scene, so make sure to check out his socials as well. Along with that, make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it, and consider subscribing to our channel, man. Come to the family, be a part of Bunch of Crunch Army. We're always gonna keep you guys updated with the best strategies and tips to dominate in Fortnite, so do us a favor and hit those two buttons. And finally, make sure to check out ProGuys.com and find your coach, and take your next steps towards mastering your mechanics, rotations, and game sense in Fortnite. Bunch of Crunch Army, keep eating that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going.